Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and I was live about 10-15 minutes ago showing off the newest design, so if you missed that, definitely check that video out. Uh, we made a rose gold wreath, so Dad's behind the camera, and Dad has always been a huge fan of rose gold. Uh, so we did our first Christmas version, uh, and I really like it. So I am having a little bit of difficulty photographing it because it's pretty much 99% glitter. So I told you guys I was going to take a quick shower, and I did, and I'm back down here to get all that glitter off. And then I forgot that we're using a lot more glitter tonight. Everything we're using, again, is just straight up glitter. So we wipe my table. Um, we're actually wearing a new shirt. Can you guys see this? Nick this, is new, decor. <laughs> this is our new logo. So if you're interested in purchasing one of our shirts, we do have them listed in our Etsy shop. Um, I feel like they're like $12.50, $15, maybe $15. I have them very reasonable. I don't, you know, charge too much. I'm not the one making them, so uh, my hair is still wet. So as you guys come in, let me know where you're watching from, and hopefully you're all having a great day. So to start off with, can you see what we did here? We just spray painted a grapevine. This is an ultra white, and, you know, Dad was just saying that we need to clean it up, and I held off on doing that until with you guys, because we're not doing too much to the wreath, and I want to make sure that we spend some time together. So I'm just going to trim it up, and this is something that I do in pretty much every wreath. If there's anything that's sticking out too far, certain designs, it's not necessary, but a design like this where you're going to see a lot of the grapevine, I do think it's going to be beneficial removing all of these little spindly pieces. Uh, that way they don't kind of deflect away from the view. We also have this big, um, this big piece right here, and this piece is actually very important. We don't want to cut all of these big twigs out because those are actually what keeps our wreath together. So be careful when removing those big, long, thick pieces that kind of weave in and out of the wreath. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome. So now let's work in our stars. So these came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just trim them up. I'm gonna see if we can pull some of them off like so. And sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's easy. It just depends on each project. So just pulling them off. Those are kind of cool, Nick. Aren't those cool, you guys? Yeah. We don't do a whole lot of glitter for 4th of July or just patriotic in general. But, you know, we got to mix it up. I know some of you guys love glitter, and I don't want to just, you know, bore you with every design. So we're going to try to mix it up tonight. That's our first spray. Let's break down a couple more. As you come in, if you don't mind hitting that like button and share button, we would appreciate it. It helps us reach more people and hopefully inspire them. Uh, but these were $3.99, 40 off from Hobby Lobby, and I picked up eight of them. I don't think it's going to take eight for this project, but I know it's going to take at least a minimum of, you know, three, if not four, if not five, because I want to make this wreath look really cool with, again, nothing but stars. All right, what was that, three? I think that was three. No, that was two, wasn't it? Two, yeah. Two. All right, let's break down three, <laughs> and then we'll work in these three, and if we need more, we can cut in some more. Okay. Another hot one today, guys. It was in the mid-90s again. Yeah, the nice thing is, is upstairs is currently 89 degrees. I just checked the thermostat. Unbelievably hot in this house. Um, you know, cold bath, cold showers are definitely the way to go when living in the Kretikos household. <laughs> so we're going to work in these stars now. And another thing I'm going to make sure to do is to have all of the back sides facing towards the back. And you might be wondering, well, what the heck is the front side and the back side? So we put all of these stars towards the front. Let me show you an example of what the back would look like. That's the front of a star, and that's the back. See how you can see that pole? Yep. I don't want to see that pole sticking out. I want it to be nice and clean and even. So you, we've been averaging about two grapevines per can of paint. Uh, we do a nice thick coat on them. Nick does a thick coat, too. I do a thick coat as well. When dad does it, you guys got to yell at dad. I just did it last week. <laughs> oh, he did one grapevine last two? week. All right, two. two. <laughs> uh, Dad's got to step up his game. I would remind him every day, and one of these days he'll pick it up. Uh, but what do you guys think of the new merch? Dad laughed at me when I said that <laughs> that came in the other day. Uh, the shirt. We also started making um, some coffee cups. I'm a big coffee drinker myself, so we just got our coffee cups in. Uh, we got a sweatshirt in for when it starts to get cold out. We also got different versions. We got a white one, a uh, black one with our new logo. So this logo we created, I want to say, gosh, a couple months ago at least, right, Dad? Yeah, I think so, yeah. A couple months ago, and we just started getting our products in. So I would love to take a picture of the whole family with all of us wearing these shirts. I think that'd be so cool. So just opening up those stars, making sure the back is facing the back. 
This is gonna turn out really cool, you guys. It is, it's a perfect backdrop too, painting the, the grapevine that color. Yeah, so I didn't know if I wanted to paint it white or if I wanted to paint it blue or red. The only issue is painting it blue or red, it is gonna stand out a good amount because we don't have any um, glitter on it. So I do think glitter, if you spray painted it, you, you know, you could buy a, a metallic spray paint or just cover it in glitter. I think that would be a nice effect. We haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, we haven't tried that. So that's something we'll get back to you on. Um, yeah, this year is going to be a year first. And we've been saying that for a while now, you guys. I really want to try tons of different things. You know, yes, this is my business, but it's also my passion and kind of, a, you know, a business and hobby all in one because, you know, we get so much enjoyment out of it and trying different things and keeping it fresh and new and exciting. And I see we're over 400 viewers. Thank you, guys. Keep those likes and shares coming. All right. I guess we did good coverage with just three of them so far. This is going to look cool. I think so, too. What do you guys think of that? Show some love if you think that's going to turn out cool. Again, making sure the stars are facing forward. I mean, you don't have to be as critical as I am, but that stuff bothers me if I can see those little sticks sticking out. And we can bend them all to shape after the glue solidifies. Okay. How do you keep your work clean from glue strings and glue bobs? It's the way Nick twists it. Yeah, that, <laughs> how he does see, it. that's one thing that can come with practice is the way I, you know, scoop my glue. So I can use my glue like it's acrylic paint at this point in time, you guys. I use scrap skewers and sticks to just smear hot glue everywhere that I need it to be. Um, and that just comes with practice, like I said. So the more you practice with your glue skillet, I mean, even just taking a scrap stem, swirling it, seeing if you get any glue strings, and then if you don't, just continue with that motion. So just keep trying it and you'll, de you'll definitely get no glue strings eventually. Uh, I've heard a candle, an acrylic, not acrylic candle, a wax candle has helped a lot of people. Uh, I've yet to try that, so I can't speak on the candle method, but apparently you just stick a tea light candle. You know what a tea light is, right, Dad? Yeah, yeah. A little tea light candle, and apparently that just keeps everything, you know, from getting glue strings. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But that's what we got with three of them. And again, $4 each. Let's work in some more. Hey, Vicky, nice to see you. Hi, Jean. And the glue strings come off easy anyway. Yeah, the glue strings come off very easily. You know, those have never been a big issue of mine, but, you know, like I said, one way to get rid of those is to just practice and continue making wreaths. So uh, it definitely helps. And then you'll get your swirl down pat because dad's wreath had tons of glue strings that we got to clean up um, before it goes out. And it'll probably go out tomorrow and it's going to Canada, dad. It's awesome. All right. We're in Canada, you know? I don't remember. So dad, if you guys didn't know, actually lived in Canada for a bit, which is kind of crazy when you think about it because dad's been everywhere and I've, you know, just been... Well, that's a lie. I've been to Greece. I've been to, you know, London for a couple hours in the airport. I still count that, you guys. I'll take all <laughs> I can get. I've been to Paris for, again, a couple hours for a layover. Um, but I'll still count that. What the heck? You know, I didn't see Big Ben or the Eiffel Tower, but I was still there. The stars came from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Yes. Said. Yep, Hobby Lobby. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I am so loving this design. Thank you, Alexandra. So excited to see how it's going. Yes, and So in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of our designs, we do list all of our reads in our Etsy shop. It's kind of a first dibs type of situation. Um, so, you know, you can go to our Etsy shop, and I'll have that link pinned down below. Uh, but if you didn't check out our rose gold wreath we just made, definitely click on that video. I think that video, I think that wreath turned out really pretty once we got the photos down pat. So. The stars came from Hobby Lobby. Yes, Hobby Lobby. Thank what you for the stars, everyone. Yeah, thank you for the stars, you guys. That's kind of ironic. All right, that's what it looks like. Should we work in some more to bulk it up a little bit? That's awesome. Maybe a couple more pieces? What do you think? You could. I mean, yes or no? It's pretty full. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Should we work in just a couple more stars? I think right here needs right to that side a little more, yeah. All right, let's work, work them in. And don't just agree with me, you guys. Dad's notorious for doing that, too. What do you think, Dad? I think it's enough. Oh, I think it's enough, too. <laughs> <laughs> so Marianne loves it. Marianne loves it. That's good. Lee Hamby says, so happy to finally be a member of Lee's, Nick's exclusive wreath community. I know, Lee. Congratulations. No, I'm kidding. Welcome. We are so <laughs> excited to have you. Um, yeah, so, Lee, stay tuned. We have so many things that we're working on. And for those of you that are group members, we did do a group walkthrough uh, for those of you guys that are new, it's the first pinned video in the group. 
and I think it's going to be very useful kind of explaining how the group works and operates and you know so on and so forth um, and also make sure you have all of your notifications on I don't want you to miss a single thing you could just separate them out like that making sure again the front of the star is facing upwards I'll take this one and place it here and I think we're gonna be complete after this what do you think dad I don't think we need anything else it's cool I like it no bow you guys know how I feel about bows at this point in time. I love them. I make beautiful bows, but they're not necessary in everything that you do. Oh, here's that piece I was looking for right in front of me. <laughs> All right, so we'll take this piece and our final piece will sit up here. And then we can bend all those stars and adjust them and get them to our liking. I don't want to save just two pieces, Dad. What the heck? Might as well use them work a little more. Are you going to put a bow on this one? So great question, Jane. I think I just answered that. Yeah, we're not going to be adding a bow to this. Uh, bows have a time and a place. These designs, I think, look amazing when it's just universal throughout, where you don't have to sneak in a bow or, you know, you know, I see often a lot of designers out there place a bow on a wreath or a design or whatever the case may be for the sake of it. And I definitely don't live by that. I think bows have a time and a place and they just don't work for everything. They're just not necessary. All right, I think that's complete at this point. Would you agree, Dad? It looks like it from here. All right, let's hang it up and you guys can see. Do you think we need anything else? That looks so cool. Danae says, I'm most definitely excited about being a member of the exclusive wreath community. Awesome, Danae. And we still have several members that have yet to request. So you've already made a payment. And if you haven't requested, make sure you request the group. I can't go searching for you. Uh, and I can't admit people, you know, without them requesting. So... I think that looks really pretty. So we'll just shift those stars around a bit, get them to my liking, and I think we're good to go. That looks right? awesome, yeah. And then the back is nice and clean. That's a question we get uh, asked all the time. There's a handful of questions that are kind of go-tos. One of which, what is that thing you're swirling your, you know, your stems into? That's a glue skillet. Second question is how do you clean up the back of your reeds? And you know, I'm covered in glitter. I'll never work with glitter a day <laughs> in my life again. And the answer to that is, is I really don't. You know, certain designs I have to clip a few things off the back, um, but we really never showcase that in the exclusive wreath community because I'm very, very adamant about, you know, encouraging members and encouraging, you know, our followers as well to take your stems and work them in horizontal with your design. Never take a stem like this, poke it in all the way, and then bend it to shape. Take your stems and place them with the same direction as the grapevine. Uh, in doing so, you're not going to have anything sticking out the back. Even though these stems are short, if I stuck them in like that and then bent them, you'd still see a ton of stems. And another reason that's important is because if you're making it for your own home, who cares what the back of your wreath looks like? Designing for yourself is a lot different than designing for other people. Um, but, you know, another thing to factor in is when you're designing it for a customer or a friend or a family member and you have sticks sticking out the back with wires, you know, that's how you scratch your customer's doors. And that's a big no-no. So be careful with that. And yeah, so here is tonight's tutorial, short but sweet, and I think it was very beautiful. Uh, not everything has to be overdone. Not everything has to be super complicated. Something like this looks more than enough for me. So again, if you want one of these shirts, I think they're like, again, 12, 50 or $15, less than 15, I know that much, um, because why not? So if you want one of them, they're very inexpensive. Plus I think like 395 shipping and handling, uh, which is very reasonable. So yeah, we also have mugs and a couple other shirts, and then we'll be having some more. So Alex actually created these, and that's our new logo. So let me know what you think of that. Um, again, just as a closing, thank you for all the likes and shares. Thank you for all the comments and the support. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you're interested in joining the Exclusive Wreath community, we did unfortunately close June 1st, but we are opening up the group at some point in August. So subscribe um, to our email list at nickseasonaldecor.com. Uh, that way you're first notified when the group opens back up. And yeah, love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye everyone. Good night everyone.